Let's check out a cool angle sum problem with a fascinating visual solution. Start with a square with vertices labeled A, B, C, and D. Place n equally spaced dots labeled x1 up to xn on the side length BC so that we've subdivided the side length BC into n plus 1 equal side lengths, as shown here. Next, place a dot on the side length AD labeled Y that creates a line segment AY that has the exact same length as the subdivided line segments previously created. Now we draw n plus 1 triangles sitting inside this square. All of these triangles have base AY, and the top vertex is X1, X2, X3, and so on, ending at XN and C, respectively. Consider the angles AX1Y, AX2Y, AX3Y, and so on up to AXNY and ACY. What happens if we add up the arc lengths of each of these angles? What do we get? Pause the video and think about the question before I reveal the answer in 4 seconds. To get the answer, we can systematically slide the triangles over like this. Because they all have a base length AY, and that length subdivides AD into the n plus 1 pieces, and because side lengths of successive triangles match by construction, we see that the n plus 1 triangles fill in exactly half of the square. And that means that the angle measurement of the top angles added together must be half of 90 degrees, which is 45 degrees, or an arc length of pi over 4. If you want to see this happen for an even larger subdivision, Here's another example where we've created even more triangles inside the ABCD square. Once again, we subdivide BC into n plus 1 pieces, and we make AY the exact same length as all of those pieces. Now we connect all of the top dots with the base length AY, and we get a collection of triangles here. As we slide them over, we see that they're going to fill in the entire length AD, and because the side lengths of successive triangles match, we see that we fill in the entire half square again, thus resulting once again in a full angle sum of pi over 4.